welcome back in this lecture we will talk about standard error redirection in the previous lecture we discussed about standard output redirection what are the commands we execute whatever the output it displays that output should not display in the monitor or terminal and it should redirect it to the file so that is what we discussed so lsi ltr and uh, what are the output is going to come i redirect it to the slash tmp slash output dot txt file and this destination location it can be anything i just used slash tmp you can use any of the location to save this file so output will be redirected and then if you want to append the data from different commands and then you can use double greater than symbol so that all the output of the different commands can be appended to the same existing file and uh, if the file is not available while executing this command the output.txt file then it will get created automatically and uh, now we'll discuss about standard error redirection so here we can take some examples to get the errors let's say normal user cannot able to execute user add command because user add to create a user so normal user cannot able to execute user add command so same way here what we are going to do we are going to search for a file called a password file which is inside this etc but as assume you don't know where is the location of this password file we are searching with the find command so slash etc we are providing the location where we want to search and the name of the file is password so what it will do if it is executing by the root user or whoever is as having full access as a pseudo user they can able to execute normal user will get permission denied why because slash etc is a configuration files path so everyone will not have access to this directory obviously will get error so we are expecting that error should be displayed in the terminal so what we can do we want that errors should be redirected to a file only the errors or if if it is displaying the output also output also we want to redirect to a file so we'll see now how it will work the standard error redirection will work so let's connect to the ubuntu machine now i connected to this ubuntu machine now what i'm going to do i'm going to execute find command first i'll execute it as a root user so i will not get any errors find slash etc hyphen name and password under the etc directory we are searching for a file called password file so here so this is an output so this output we got it so now we did not get any errors because i executed it as a root user so now what we can do we can execute this as a normal user so now i'll switch to the normal user i'll switch it to the navin user and then i'll execute the same command find slash etc hyphen name and the password now we'll see see it displayed it it is available inside this location but also under the etc directory lot of other directories also available so find command is going inside those directories and searching for the password command but by default normal user doesn't have access read access to go inside those directories so that's why we got this permission denied but they could able to find this is the output and these are the errors so now we want to redirect this errors to a file or you can redirect this output to a file so now what i am going to do find slash etc hyphen name password then what i am going to do greater than symbol now slash tmp slash error file dot txt i did not created this file error file dot txt now automatically it will get created so this is how i am giving the greater than symbol as i said we can do double greater than symbol also but this is the first time we are updating this file so i am just giving single greater than symbol now if you see when i executed this command i don't see the output the etc password and etc pam.d password i don't see here 
where is that information went that information is updated over here if i open this file cat slash tmp error dot file i can see this is updated here why because this greater than symbol is captured only the output not the error so now what i need to do to capture the error inside this file slash tmp slash error file dot txt in this scenario now we need to use file descriptors so the previous lecture already i discussed so these are the file descriptors so you should use for errors you should use two for output you should use one so now what i am going to use i am going to use file descriptor number two so how to use this two i will show you so now what we need to do if you want to redirect the errors to a file then you should use in the command you should provide number two and this greater than symbol and there should be no space and this file name so errors output will be redirected to a error file dot txt so now i am going to use this command so let's go back to the terminal now again i came back to the terminal now i am going to execute the same command find slash etc hyphen name password to greater than symbol slash tmp slash error dot file error file dot txt now let's see what is going to happen now if you see i provided two and it displayed etc password at etc pam dot e password as an output but error it did not show why because error is available inside this file cat temp error dot file if you see here only errors is redirected to a file but output is not redirected to this file so i use single greater than that's why previous output was erased when i executed this command previously so only i can see error output here but standard output is copied to this file but now i did not provide a double greater than symbol so that's the reason it erased i can see only this one got it now if you want to capture both i want error output and standard output then how to capture this both into a file for that also we have an option so to redirect both standard output and error to a file then you should use here same way the command and the greater than symbol the file name two and greater than symbol and also one so here what is it standard output one and standard error two so what we are doing here both we are providing which means error also should be redirected to the file and output also should be redirect to the file now let's go and execute so now what i will do so again now i'll execute the same command with additional options find slash etc hyphen name password redirect to a file so this time i'm going to give a new file called error.txt and then i'm going to give two greater than symbol and also one so now it should redirect output and error also to this file because we are giving descriptor two and one two is for error one is for output now let's see see it did not provide any output to the terminal why because we provided to redirect it to the error.txt now if i open cat error.txt see here the complete output has been provided here and i did not give here temp this is like present working directory if i am not giving any location means it's a present working directory wherever you are in that present working directory the file gets created okay so this way you can redirect so first of all okay we are taking an example and we are discussing about this but in real scenarios where exactly we use this generally we use this for 
executing the scripts so once we execute the script whatever the output it is going to give whether it's an error or whether it's an output then we want it should be redirected to a file then we are going to use this methods so mainly we use the standard input output or errors in the scripts or else in the normal times also for example you want to send some information like host name information okay what are the host name of this machine or for example so any commands output you want to send it to some other team then you can redirect it to a file and that file you can download it to your local and then you can able to send it to a specific team or to your manager but generally we use this for the scripts so while writing the scripts what are the output you want to redirect then we can use this standard input output and error so this is about the standard error bye for now we'll meet in the next video